Hello and welcome back to this channel. Risk reward ratio, win rate and expectation. Where stop loss should be? The concept of risk reward ratio and stop loss has been among traders for centuries and it's essential part of the trading strategy. The risk reward ratio measures the potential profit or expected gain for every dollar risked on an, an, on an investment. Risk reward ratio one over five or one to five means you are risking one dollar to potentially make five dollars. The stop loss is the amount of risk you are taking in your trade to protect your asset being chewed up by the trade going in the wrong directions. The risk reward ratio give traders freedom to adjust the trade in such a way to obtain a better expectancy. I'm going to show you in a minute. Some of the most popular risk reward ratio is one to two, one to one, one to two, one to three, one to four, one to five, and so on. And the ratio less than one means you're taking more risk and make less profit. This ratio can be altered by traders anytime according to their trading strategy. Traders also should be aware that risk reward ratio is not enough to get the edge of a successful trade. It's not enough. It's only a part of the equation. You cannot rely on risk reward ratio 100%. For example, a ratio one to two, the traders sometimes they use and they are constantly loser. And on the other hand, some traders they use risk reward ratio less than one and they may be a constant profitable traders. There are other factors that you may consider to improve the risk, your risk reward ratio. Some traders use win rate and they think if they have high percentage of win rate, they are successful on they make profit it's not true some traders they make the higher win rate and they lose money and some traders they have lower win rate and they still make profit so win rate alone also is not something that you can rely on 100% the best technique is to combine risk reward ratio with win rate to give you an edge to a successful or profitable trading and also calculate the expectancy rate. I'm going to show you in a minute. In this video, First, I'm going to talk about the definition and calculation of risk to reward ratio and how you put your stop loss. Then I'll talk about win rate that most traders use in their trading and they think it's profitable. I will clearly show you that having a large number of win trades is not necessarily a successful and profitable trade. I'm also going to show you that a good strategy is to combine win rate with risk reward ratio to find an edge to profitable trading in a long run and show you how to calculate the expectancy rate from the above information. 
Finally, I'm going to show you so many practical examples to clarify the trading strategy. Now, how risk reward ratio is calculated? Risk reward ratio tell you for every dollar you lose how much you make profit. This example is taken from Apple stock, September 21st, 2020. Assume the entry price is $104.50. That's the entry price. You enter the, the market. Assume stop loss is 93.90. Take profit when price reaches $120.40. Now, here, the amount of risk is 2ATR. Each ATR is $5.30. 2ATR is $10.60. Please look at my YouTube video on average true range ATR. So you know what I'm talking about and how you can take ATR from the chart. The reward, I chose three ATR. So you can choose five ATR, four and a half ATR, two and a half ATR. That depends on, on your trading strategy. So I use three ATR, which is 1590. Now, look at this one. If, if you deduct 1060 from this one, you get 93.9. If you increase this reward to this one, you get 120.4. So the risk reward ratio is $10.60 over $15.90. So it gives you 67 cents. It means for every dollar you gain, you risk 67 cents. And the reward risk ratio is 1590 over 1060. That's a dollar 50. That means for every dollar you risk, you take profit a dollar 50. Does this ratio one over one half? fit your trading strategy that's you decide mark it down see what happened in the long run are you going to be successful risk reward ratio calculation continue example two walmart stock november 30th 2020 d1 time frame assume the entry price be 53 dollars Assume a stop loss, 48.40. Take profit when price reached 62.20. Now, the amount of risk, I chose two ATR. Since each ATR is $2.30, so two ATR makes $4.60. The reward, I chose it at 4 ATR. So it comes to $9.20. Now, if you deduct $4.60 from $53, you get the 48.40. That's a stop loss. If you increase $9.20 to $53, you get $62.20. Take profit when price reached that amount. Now, the amount of risk I chose at 2 ATR, you can choose it 3 ATR, 3 and a half ATR. You can choose it 1 ATR. So if you choose 1 ATR, it becomes too tight, your stop loss. If you choose more than 2 ATR, it becomes too wide. Neither of them is good. If you be too tight, it's no good. If it be too wide, is no good. So the right amount, it's about 2 ATR. Now risk to reward ratio is 460 divided by 920 is 0 0.50. It means 
for every dollar you gain, you risk 50 cents. The reward to risk, risk ratio is $9.20 over $4.60, it becomes two. That it means for every dollar you risk, you take $2 profit. Does this ratio one to two fit your trading strategy? You have to answer that question. Risk reward ratio calculation continue. Example three, assume the entry price be $6.40. Assume the stop loss be $5.98. Take profit when price reached $7.66. Amount of risk I already chose at 2 ATR, 42 cents. So each ATR is 21 cent. The reward I consider it as 6 ATR which is a dollar 26. So if I deduct 42 cents from 640, I get the stop loss, 598. If I increase a dollar 26 to $6.40, I get the $7.66, the time that I take profit. Now, risk to reward ratio is 42 cents over $1.26. It comes to 0 0.33 cents. It means for every dollar you gain, you risk 33 cents. Reward to risk ratio is $1.26 divided by 42 cents, that is three. That means for every dollar you risk, you gain three dollars. Does this one to three ratio fit within your trading strategy? Again, you have to answer this question. Now, win rate calculation. Now, how to calculate win rate? Example one. Let's assume you have five trades in one day, and in 20 days, one month of trading, you will have five multiplied by 20, that's 100 trades in one month. Let's assume you win 70 trades, and this 70 trades brought you a total profit of 4,200. That is about 4,200 divided by 70, that comes about $60 in average a trade. So $4, 4,200, that's a gain of 70 trades. Now again, let's again assume you have 30 loss trade, and this 30 loss trade, you lose 4,350. Now, if you divide this one by 30, it, it, the average comes about $145 a trade. So the 4,350, that's loss of 30 trades. Now, let's calculate the total negative profit in one month. 4,200, that's a gain of 70 trades. Divided minus 4,350, that's a loss of 30 trades. That would comes to minus $150. Now, look at what happened. Conclusion. Although the number of win trades are more than loss trade, but the overall profit is negative. So what does it mean? It means the higher number of win trade is not a solid indication for a profitable trading. You see here, 70 trades, you have 70 trades, here you have 30 trades. So again, you lose money. Now, when rate calculation continue, example two. Let's assume you have five trades in one day, and in 20 days, one month of trading, 
you will have 5 multiplied by 20, that's 100 traits. Now, let's again assume you win 25 trades at $160 in average, and a total profit, it brought you 25 by 160, $4,000 profit gain. Let's again assume you have 75 losses trade at, at $50 average, and a total loss is 75 multiplied by 50, so 3,750, that's a loss trade. Now, the total positive profit in one month is 4,000 gain minus 3,750 loss profit. So it brought you 250 profit positive, positive profit. Now, what is the conclusion? Here you have to only 25 win, and here you have 75 losses. So we expect that we know we lose so much money, but you see that in total, we gain. So conclusion, although the number of win trade is much smaller than loss trade, but the overall profit is positive. So what does it mean? It means the smaller the number of win trade is not a solid idea for loss profitability. I have so many valuable trading information to pass on to you. So please subscribe to my channel in order to receive it on time and thank you in advance. Risk reward ratio and win rate. As I mentioned earlier, the risk reward ratio isn't enough to give you a strong edge to your profitable trading. And you should combine this ratio with your winning rate to know whether your trading is going to be profitable in the long run or not. Let's see some examples. Win rate and expectation rate calculation. Example, let's assume you have five trades in one day and in 20 days, one month trading, you will have five multiplied by 20 is 100 trades. Let's assume 65 of these trades were winning and you your win rate is 65 over 100, so it's 0 0.65 or 65%. If 65 win brought you a profit of total 19,500, the size of average win is 19,500 over 65, over this 65, so it comes to $300. Now, if your 30 loss trade were 6,000, then the size of overall average loss is 6,000 over 30, that makes it $200. Now let's apply to expectancy formula. Expectancy formula is equal to one plus W over L multiplied by P minus one. E is the expectancy. W is the size of average win. L is the size of average loss. And P is winning rate. So we plug that, that value, 1 plus 300 over 200, multiply by 65, 0.65 minus 1, that it comes to 0 0.625. Now, it's positive number. What does it mean? Positive expectancy trading strategy means your trading strategy will make profit of 62 and half cent for every dollar you trade. So this is a good strategy. You use risk to reward ratio, you, you use win rate, and from here you can find out whether you are in the right track. If it's positive, it means you profit. If it's negative, it means you don't make money. 
this is a very nice curve that you have risk reward ratio versus a required winning rate now the winning rate is from zero percent all the way to 70 percent and the risk reward ratio from half to all the way to 10. now for example is reward to risk ratio is two and a half so here the you go all the way up and then when you reach the curve you see that what is going to be your winning rate so here risk reward ratio one to one let's say if it be one here you all the way go, come all the way there and you reach here so it's 50 50 percent so if it's one to one the win rate is 50 percent and the lose weight is one minus 50%, so it's 50%. Now, one to two, one to two, let's say the two is here. If you go up all the way here, you reach here, that is 33%. So you see that that 33%, and one minus 33, that is 66.667%. And let's say here is one to four, around here that's four you come all the way here and you see about 20 percent so one to four is 20 percent and loss rate is 80 percent so you you find the win rate from here the loss rate from here and that's the risk reward ratio that is very very good curve to use uh, in your trading strategy important point traders should keep in mind for a successful trade first you use proper position sizing so you do not use lots of capital if your stop loss broken and you get stopped out what it means that don't buy too many shares in one stock so at least if you lose you lose all the capital your most of your capital so you invested in five, six uh, stock rather than in one. And second, you do not put your stop loss at any arbitrary level. Set a proper stop loss. And the best way to do it is to use market structure like support and resistance, trend line, moving averages, so you 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 use these price act, price action this prevent the price trend hitting your stop loss and you be left outside the market structure like support and resistance support is an area with potential buying pressure and resistant is an area with potential selling pressure if you are in a long position you can take profit at resistant for example you know the price go up to resistant you can take profit there and if you are in a short position you can take profit at support please choose the level that is more obvious to you with more visible touches i explained this in my support and resistant videos i have two and clearly i explain all these things please watch those video again to refresh your memories a level a level is more significant if there is a strong price rejection which means when the price reaches to that level may only spend for a short time and this level before moving away so when the price reaches at that level may only spend a short time at that level and before it moves away the same technique is also applied for using trend line and moving averages please be reasonable with your target with your target profit why because when 
when you are shorting at resistance and taking your profit, do not expect the price comes exactly to you, to resistance level. Sometimes it comes close to the resistance and bounce back. So take your profit a little earlier. Third point is trade with the trend. You know, trade with the trend since it improves your winning rate. For example, moving average, SMA 10 and SMA 42, two days. For entry setup, the price must be above the SMA 10 and both of them must be above SMA 42. So that is means upward position. So you know that 100% the trend is going to go upward. And that is it, that, that you lose, you do not lose money. You go with the trend. If you are going short, the price must be below SMA 10 and both of them must be below SMA 42. That is the, that is the uh, characteristics of downward trend. So you go with the trend. This way, your winning rate is high. So please check my moving average videos. I have two. And that will increase your knowledge because I clearly explain these things in a nice detail. You can also calculate the rest reward ratio at any time and find out where you are standing. So to recap what we have learned so far, we have learned risk reward ratio calculations and definition. Re reward risk ratio, stop loss calculation, win rate calculation, risk reward ratio and win rate, expectancy rate calculation, risk reward ratio curve versus win rate. Important point traders should keep in mind. So these were topics that we were uh, discussed in this video. My question to you is, how do you use your risk reward ratio in your trading? What stop loss you use? What is your next favorite subject or video you want me to do? Please leave your comments below and let me know your thoughts. That's all folks. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave your comment. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.